Okay, so let's see if I can do this on the camera somehow. Uh, yeah, this one that works does beep. Um, probably when I was trying it, I didn't have my jumper on the. I thought I did. I thought I had done that, but I'm thinking maybe I didn't. I don't know if I can figure out a way to. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It'll do it up here on these con contacts, or I can do it on the plug. But, you see, I need another hand. Anyway, it it does. It uh, it has continuity. Just look at what I expected. So, yeah, I believe the windings in this one are, they've got, they've burned up inside. Got, a, got an open circuit in there. And that one runs, and it has power. So, I don't know why the thermal fuse burned up in it. But, uh... I suspect maybe you know there's you get uh, we have a real bad dust problem here, and maybe I had to vacuum from inside and out of the this thing when I took it down. Uh, this one's still you see a little dust in there. This is the old one. I didn't vacuum it, but the new one you can see a little in there. You just can't get it all out. This is the new one after I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. Of course, I well I didn't have the cage out. That's right. I didn't have the cage out of it, but uh, uh, you can still kind of see. Uh, of course, any dust that got on those will get burned up, but you can kind of see telltale dust there, and that's after vacuuming it. So anyway, I'm gonna put the motor back together the normal way with its original rotor, because it runs just feels just the same either way. I don't, I don't. I mean, since it's moving back and forth just as much. With either one, I guess that's just the way this one's built. The other one, it's tighter. It, whenever it's put together, it doesn't move very much at all. But I knew that shouldn't. Uh, a funny thing is, so earlier when I was kind of, you know, up and down. This way is up and down is the way. Yeah, I can feel it move just a little um, enough that I can feel it, and I couldn't feel it moving up and down with the other one. So these bushings could be more worn than the bushings in this original one. So I'm going to go back to the original one, and I uh, suppose if I ever had really got curious, you know, I could take this apart. I've seen all these videos on how to rewind. Well, you know, people usually rewind these, not things like this, but they usually rewind like ceiling fans to make them into generators and junk like that. I've been, in, I've been interested in that because I've got a ceiling fan up there that got burned out. Uh, got wired backwards I didn't do it but I did flip the switch <laughs> and uh, I was asked to but then I, I didn't think fast enough to hurry up and uh, flip it back off I, I was really tired I'd been actually I'd been working installing the new of this and I was warm smooth out and I couldn't think I stood there going oh crap instead of flipping the switch back off so can you believe that and I'm telling you all my life I've known better than that I was just completely <laughs> worn out so anyway, that's my excuse. So um, let's put this off because I'm gonna put uh, put it up back together like it belongs. I'm gonna take the I always take those off to, for a little bit of safety, but you gotta wait till they cool down because they're gonna you know, as soon as that that heats up immediately whenever you turn it on. These things don't have a thermostat; they're on or they're off. That's what's crazy. Unless these therm uh, thermal fuses act as a thermostat, but you know, like cut on and cut off. I don't think they do. I think they just burn up. You'd think that they would have to do that to keep it from burning up, though. They must, you know. I kept thinking that it's either, you know, this thing is either on or it's either good or bad. But they have to work like a little thermostat, they have to, like, connect and disconnect. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, now that I see that my motor works, put it back together its normal way, put my new thermal fuse in there. Maybe it'll work. We'll see. All right, bye.